Hi, I'm Dr. Srilata. I'm a certified radiologist. I take care of sonology department in Indigo Women's Center. What is the role of sonologist? The sonologist helps the clinician to evaluate the cause of the signs and symptoms expressed by the patient to give conclusive diagnosis in aiding the clinician to choose the right treatment. Uh, here, sonology has three segments. It's a gynecology ultrasound, obstetric ultrasound, and infertility ultrasound. In, uh, in gynecology ultrasound, we do the scans uh, for all the gynecological problems uh, for, the, for a woman in course of her life from adolescence, reproductive, premenopausal, and postmenopausal period. In infertility scans, we do uh, ultrasound to find the cause for the couple who are unable to conceive naturally. In obstetric ultrasound, we do early pregnancy tests to confirm intrauterine gestation and to rule out ectopic pregnancy. And we do 11 to 13 week scan or NT scan to rule out chromosomal anomalies. The next important scan is anomaly scan to rule out structural anomalies. Any abnormality found during this scan will be notified to the clinician so that he can plan and intervene at the right time to reduce the risk and complications during perinatal period. Any abnormality found in the fetus can be managed by the pediatrician immediately after the birth. Can you tell us more in detail about application of ultrasound in infertility diagnosis? For a perfect clinical pregnancy to occur, we need a mature follicle from the ovary to rupture in ovulation and give a good egg which should pass through a morphologically and anatomically perfect tube and enter the uterus into the endometrial cavity. An endometrial cavity should have a perfect pretty feather line appearance for implantation to occur. To monitor all this process, when the patient comes for the fertility treatment, First, we do a transvaginal scan. In transvaginal scan, we study uterus, that's the womb, for size, position, morphology, and any anatomical variations and Mullerian ductal anomalies. And then we study endometrium, the lining of the womb, for polyps, endometrial thickness, endometrial fibroids or endometrial cavitary fibroids. Then we look for the myometrium for the muscle tumors and uh, the echogenicity of the myometrium, any evidence of adenomyosis, and look for the cervix for cervical stenosis or any tumors in the cervix, then the tubes and the evidence of hydrosalpings, infection. In ovaries, we look for the follicular count, size, volume, and additional cyst, either clear cyst, a simple cyst, hemorrhagic cyst, or an endometriotic cyst, or any tumors. An endometriotic cyst, which is a common in uh, many women and a common cause of infertility, it is an uh, implantation of endometrial stoma tissue outside the uterus. Due to repeated hemorrhage in the cyst, it causes an endometrioma in the ovary. After this, when we plan a hormonal stimulation for the patient, we start a scan with a basal scan. In basal scan, we, look, we want an endometrium to be thin at the resting level and the ovaries to be at a resting level with no mature follicle and no cyst persisting from the previous cycle. And also we rule out any fibroids encroaching the endometrial cavity and to see the endometrial cavity is free. Once the patient is stimulated by hormonal stimulation, we monitor the ovarian follicles and endometrial lining Follicular monitoring is done daily or alternatively depending upon the medical strength of the medication given by the clinician. Follicular monitoring is basically the study of the growth of the follicles to see whether they have attained the size of size for ovulation and also endometrial cyclic changes. Follicular monitoring guides the clinician when to interfere and induce ovulation. Follicular monitoring is also done after ovulation to check for the rupture and free fluid in the pelvis. Good endometrial lining with the good estrogen levels, the clinician decides when to induce ovulation. Tell us about the therapeutic application of ultrasound in infertility treatment. Ultrasound is used both during egg collection and embryo transfer. 
Egg collection or oocyte retrieval performed transvaginally with ultrasound guidance is considered state of art. A probe is passed through vaginal wall and fluid is sucked from a mature follicle with a fine needle and the fluid is examined by the embryologist under microscope for the egg. Ultrasound again is used in embryo transfer. Pre-embryo transfer we check for endometrial thickness for triple lining which should be like a pretty tree feather line and also for uterine perfusion. Ultrasound in embryo transfer. Pre-transfer if the clinician is not satisfied by the embryo lining and uterine perfusion, he could wait for a favorable cycle. This prevents embryo wastage and the patient disappointment. In embryo transfer, the ultrasound guides the clinician to advance the catheter for proper placement of embryos. It is very important to place the embryos at the right location. At Indigo Women's Center, we customize the treatment according to the patient requirement. Hormonal stimulation is done depending upon the patient body response and patient's requirement. When the clinician predicts that the outcome is bad or some women who have few follicles in the ovaries, they are clearly explained before the procedure because this procedure takes a lot of expense from the patient's side and uh, it also requires a lot of moral support from the clinician side. We make sure that the patient is aware of all the treatment and procedures she is undergoing throughout the treatment.